Hey everyone and Happy New Year. It's Maury. Today's going to be a fun day. This is part one of my uh, latest project. Today, just a few minutes ago actually, this arrived. And this arrived. That's the 53 liter chest refrigerator and the slide mechanism that I mentioned in my previous video. I've only got the refrigerator partially removed from the van at the moment. So today we're going to do an unboxing and just kind of check this out and see how it looks. All right, we'll see how much of this I can do one handed. Um, so this is the Iceco chest refrigerator that I decided I'm going to use. It's got the Danfoss um, compressor, so it's going to be very efficient and reliable, and it's supposed to be very quiet. And there's a box inside a box. So, hold on a second. Okay, so here's the box from within. Uh, just a side note, this thing weighs about 50 pounds, so if you're doing this, just be careful as you remove it from the packaging. So inside here, we should find the refrigerator itself. There's also a, I believe, a little case that it goes into, like an insulating case. I imagine there's also instructions, which you might actually have to read this time. Ooh, look at that. Feels good. There's stuff inside. All right, well, here's the insulating bag and the rack that lifts out. There's the AC adapter. Some candy. that is it's heavy it sounds like it's stuff oh that's the handles the handles have to be attached all right well let's uh pull this thing out uh, it tells you what temperature you want to set it at for various things so for red wine you want to set it at 55 degrees that's an important thing to put on there right fruit vegetables all right well i'm going to pull this out and we'll start again okay and here it is in all its glory Interestingly enough, being in a box without handles, it's difficult to remove. So, there's some plugs. This is where the handle goes. So if you don't want to use the handle, it's uh, got things to cover up the holes for it. this out. You'll see it's fairly deep. Um, I don't have a tape measure handy, but you know, I, it's all the way up to my elbow. So this is the main refrigerated unit or refrigerated side. And then this is the passive cooling area where you would put vegetables and stuff like that. There's a light here. I did see some complaints about the light being blue. I'm not sure why that's a problem, but for some reason it bugged people. I don't know. Now the whole thing will sit inside this insulated bag. It's a zipper bag. Um, again, in my situation, I may or may not even use this. But I could probably find another use for it, too. I don't know. Maybe. It's nice to have it around, though. It's supposed to help a little bit. It's not super thick, but mm, whatever. And then in here, like I said, that should be the handles that go on. And what else do we got? Let's just open this real quick. So this is going to be replacing my... 
three-way refrigerator in the Rialto. And that's what that slide there is for. So I'm actually gonna put it in the cabinet and then I can just pull it out to access it, which is necessary since it's a top loader. But, okay, so here's the 12 volt adapter. And then here's the handle stuff, spring loaded, I like that. So that'll keep the handles down and it feels pretty sturdy. There's some plastic and some, you know, this is, this is metal, aluminum, I imagine. Um, feels pretty durable. And the reviews did say that, you know, the handles are, are steel, I guess, maybe. Some various trim pieces and screws. And again, this. And this has a divider so you can separate things like that. And then this drops back inside. I think uh, I'm gonna pull out the instructions right quick, make sure that I'm not missing anything, and then probably just plug it in and see what happens. Just a quick side note also, it gives specifications here, and you can probably see here where it says rated current DC, four and a half amps at max, so maximum cooling, and then Nominal would be 2.2. Once it is at temperature, um, the people, the reviews that I've seen say that it draws around a half an amp or so, um, or even less. But the good news is that at maximum, this four and a half amps is while it's cooling down. The refrigerator that I have in the Rialto right now, when it's on 12 volts, is rated, I believe, at 12 amps constantly. Like, it just keeps running and running and running and drains your batteries. So that's one of the biggest reasons that I'm doing this. Anyway, uh, just an interesting little side note I thought I'd share. All right, I didn't miss anything, and being a portable device, you know, it should be more uh, durable than to be sensitive to shipping anyway. It's meant to be in a vehicle, for crying out loud, so I think we're all right. Anyway, because we're inside, we're going to use the AC adapter, or just the, you know, the regular AC cord. And it plugs in here, and next to that is the 15-amp fuse, a separate connector for the 12-volt adapter, which is this stuff here and it uses a uh, just a regular 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter i have a marine one that i'm going to be installing in the van to plug this into and then it's got a nice long cord also and then it has a setting here a switch low medium and high well, what is the switch for you might ask i'm glad you asked that is for battery protection um, it will allow you to select the voltage that it stops running at so that it doesn't completely sap your batteries. That's a really nice little feature. So if it if you forget that it's running and you drain your batteries, um, and this is probably more important in your car if you're if you are out someplace, you don't want it to drain your battery to the point that you can't start your car. So there you go. So we'll plug this thing in here. Oh. All right, it's plugged in. And it says to turn it on. So when you're looking at this, here, we'll look at it the right way. So this is the orientation that it will go into the van. So I will pull it out this way and it opens this way. Oh, there's the light. Oh, it is blue. Look at that. I don't know if that shows up right on the camera, but it is sure it's blue. It talks about needing some ventilation. This is actually going to be toward the, the side of the van and there's an existing vent because uh, there's a propane refrigerator there currently. So let's just turn this thing on. All right, so it's set for max right now. So maximum cooling, you can select that. Here, let's listen. It's not very loud at all. And once it's inside the cabinet, it'll be even quieter. 
eco mode. No change in uh, sound. Hmm. We'll leave it on max for now. All right, it's starting to cool down. It was 315 when I was checking this. It's been only, I don't know, five or so minutes. It's down to 54 now. And I've got one handle on and it feels really solid. That is great. There's a trim panel that goes over that. And then we'll do this other side. These little gray plugs, I'm gonna keep these. I can use these to plug other stuff in the van. The van uses gray as one of its colors. And I know that I'll be able to find a use for this uh, plastic plugs if I can get them out. So that's kind of a nice little bonus. I'm always going to Ace Hardware to buy crap like this. So if I can, I don't have any fingernails. Oh, there we go. All right. So I will continue putting this stuff on and then we'll get into the slide. I'm excited to see how sturdy that is. All right, there's the second handle. I have to say so far, I am really impressed with the quality of this stuff. Everything feels really uh, durable and came with its own little tool for putting this stuff together. Um, I mean, my first impressions are, are very positive. I'm just tightening all these things down for the last time. I've learned to not tighten everything down until you're absolutely sure you did it right, which I still end up taking things apart half the time, but you know, what are you gonna do? And then there's these little plastic covers that go on. They are shaped. I didn't expect that, but they do have a contour. This is hard to do these one-handed, but all in the name of YouTube, right? There we go. Get in there, you little... Uh-oh. See, I put it on the wrong way. There we go. It's a little rumbly. Um, that's actually the, oh, look, it's already down to 50 degrees. This little thing here is a little rumbly. I heard it and I was trying to figure out what was going wrong, but it wasn't something wrong after all. Okay, so is it this direction? Yes. And last but not least, okay. See how you get better at these after you do them? We'll just edit this part out. Uh-oh. There we go. All right, now we're all together. It's down to 50 degrees. Feel in here. Oh, oh yeah, the sides are nice and cold already. And it's not very loud at all. It's still on maximum cooling. Take this thing out. I don't know if you could hear that before, but I mean, it's very quiet, even on its maximum setting. Nice. All right, well, let's open the, the uh, 
what is it what is this called the slide the slide mount let's open that all right in the time that it took me to unbox this thing the fridge is now down to 46. it should stop here in just a minute because i set it to 45. we'll see how quiet it gets in standby mode but this is the slide that that sits in so it sits right in this tray and then you have the ability to pull it out. It's on these heavy duty roller slides. It doesn't make a sound. It locks into place. Oh man, this was worth the $200. So between both of these things, I'm spending less than what a standard RV refrigerator, like a Dometic would be. And I can take it with me if I want to. That is really slick. Hold on, let me put this thing on top of it. All right, so I have it on the slide now. And it actually comes with straps that you use on the handle and you strap it into place to keep it down. Um, I'll probably do that on the rear at least, but I'm not sure that it's necessary. I don't know, well, maybe, we'll see. But anyway, you just unlatch it and oh, look at that, and it'll lock in any position. Holy mackerel, that is awesome. Why does it say 43? What am I doing here? Oh, I set it to 32. Why did I think I set it to 45? Let's set it to 45. Look at that. The thing is absolutely silent now. And you can see there's some frost building up in there. This is, uh, this is going to be one of the best things I've ever done in an RV. And look, even the slide has branding. locks back into place oh man it's too late in the afternoon to go mess around with the RV now but this is going to be outstanding so uh, I think that's where we'll cut this off I'll end on a high note this is the ice co GP 50 this is the biggest of the the ones that they offer so it's 53 liters um, they have a 40 and a 30. I almost went with one of the smaller ones. The only difference being they have the same footprint, but they're just not as tall. So this gray section here would be shorter. But I decided that it would be better to have the extra depth. And to just start with something that I'm not going to complain about later because that's kind of you know, something I'm really good at. So if I can eliminate the complaining later, then uh, I think we'll be in good shape. So with that, um, yeah, I'm really excited. I don't, I'm, I'm speechless. So I will clean my mess up here and gosh, I guess the next time you see me, I'll be putting this sucker in. So uh, with that, hope everybody's having a great start to your week, and I'll see you next time. See you soon. Have a great day.